What's up, YouTube? Sorry about the delay in the uh, amount of videos that I've been doing. I've just been kind of busy, and I really haven't had that many ideas. And I think there's a lot of other YouTubers out there that have been kind of hitting a lot of nails on the head lately. And I really just kind of didn't have any ideas. But I want to stay, you know, I want to make sure that, you know, I'm still relevant, so, so to speak. So I will do, I will do some videos on things that are in bloom. Now, for starters, I'm going to do a, um, a plant that is not an orchid. That's right, no orchids. At least this one is. Um, I received this uh, from the Facebook group, um, Let's Talk, well, from a member from the Facebook group, Let's Talk Houseplants. Talk. Um, this is from Brenda Worcester Paleo. I, think, I hope I'm saying your name correctly, because if I'm not, just tell me to piss off. Um, this is a Hoya. I don't know which variety uh, received it as a cutting, but if you can see the bloom, let's see if I can get you to close to that bloom right there. Maybe it'll come into view. It's awesome. I, I've never seen a bloom like that. It's really cool. Um, really cool little bloom. Uh, kind of calico shaped or tiger striped. Um, the only two blooms that survived, it came actually with a bunch of flower sheaths or flower, I guess they're sheaths because uh, the flower itself is actually this thing right here, not the red thing, but it's really pretty and it's starting to kick and starting to grow, which is great. Um, I received about five cuttings from her. One that I put in a spag and bag method because when it arrived, it did not have any roots, but in the spag and bag method, it actually grows roots like crazy. So it's getting there, but that is doing really well. Another non-orchid that, um, Bill, I hate to do this to you, but this is the Skitula cutting you gave me. And there was a guy honking. Oh, somebody leaves their car alarm on while I'm doing a video. How wonderful. Thank you for taking care of that asshole. Um, anyway, um, this is the Skitula that Bill had given me from Plants and Things. Uh, he's had a lot of problems with his. Mine seems to do very well. As a matter of fact, you can uh, you get real close. It's doing very well, as a matter of fact. Got a lot of blooms on her. She is doing very well. We're having a lot of new growths. Um, I'll probably get some more cuttings from it because there's a piece up here that wants to kind of just, it's just all wonky and wants to fall off. So I'll make a cutting of that and uh, just stick it in the soil. But this thing is great. It's constantly on the bloom and it always seems to be blooming. It's got little burgundy starfish looking flowers on it. And that's very cool for me. Um, I have another piece of this that I stuck in with a, st a Stapelia gigantea. And that's in bud, too. Now, uh, let's see. This guy here is called an Arangus biloba um, from the Arangus. Sorry, there was water caught in there. I don't want water sitting in the crown. I'm, I just got done spraying these. I came in and this was open. This is supposed to smell like citrus, but I haven't really noticed. It, this is from the Arangus group of plants. Um, I think they're closely related to Engrecums. But you can see the beautiful little white flowers on these guys. And they have a, it's like a, almost like a chain or a cascade of the, of the, uh, the flowers. It's kind of hang down. They grow uh, similar to Phalaenopsis. They take Phalaenopsis light, maybe just a hair brighter, maybe more close on Cidium light. Um, they like to dry out between waterings. They grow pretty similar to Phal. If you look at it, you wouldn't think it's an ugly Phalaenopsis. But low light, um, dry between waterings. Typically, they like to be mounted. This I received in a pot. Uh, so I left it there because it was in spike in the pot. So I'm just leaving it alone, but beautiful blooms and they glisten and they have a little glitter in the flower petals when you put them under lights. Very easy plant to grow. I had one before and I did not know how to grow it, so I put it in full sunlight and sure enough, it died. So there goes that one. Now, uh, let me see. Oh, Wade from Wade's Orchids. I got one for you. This is the plant I got from you when I was up at your shop. Uh, this is the Oncidium Heaven Scent Sweet Baby. Uh, Sweet Baby has a bloom spike. And not just one, there's another one down in between. It's weird, the growth in between has a flower spike and it's shooting up from there. But this will probably have two flower spikes. Now in talking to Wade on the phone, these oftentimes will have two or three flower spikes and maybe bloom twice a year. And I can feel how heavy and dense this is in the pot. It's pretty packed in there, pretty tight. Also, I know I'm going off camera, but, ugh. oh no, spilling. This Anna from Crooked Orchids, you'll remember this Anna, 
You said I kill it, and I didn't. And there's a fungus in that. Um, this is the Mazda Volley you gave me, Anna. I mounted it to the side of a terracotta pot. Now, if you could see, I've actually got holes inside the terracotta pot so that you can put hooks in it and hang this thing. Right now, it's full of water. So, basically, this thing acts like a cool log. The Mazda loves it because the terracotta is always cold. The Mazda itself is doing really well. If you look at the top, there is some new growths coming from the top. And there's a couple coming from the bottom, but I'm not sure if that, that growth coming from the bottom is a flower spike or a new growth. But Mazdi's like cool logs. So anything similar to a cool log, a cool jar, a cool log, or even a DIY terracotta pot that you can make at home. Now, the reason why I actually have water in this is because this terracotta pot does not have a hole in the bottom. But just like all cool logs or cool log type uh, apparatus, so to speak, they do drip. So I do keep it with a tray underneath in the uh, grow space under lights. Because Mazdis will grow under lights as long as they're kept humid and cool. And they're very, very, very easy growers if you can meet those conditions. Dracula would be another story. That would probably be a little bit more extreme. I'd probably have to run the humidifier directly on the plant in order to get it to be really healthy. But a hybrid Mazdi like this, and this is a Mazda Valia Pinocchio. Oh my god. You know, I have to go out and... I have a date, and I have to... Now I just wet my pants. <laughs> Oops, I wet my plants. Um, Mastavalia Pinocchio's Dream. It's a Golden Tiger uh, Augie HCC by AOS times Pinocchio String. So this thing is awarded, uh, which is great. And Anna, thank you very much. I really appreciate it, hon. Uh, this is great. So let's put this guy back so he doesn't drip all over me. So if I do go out, I don't look like a tool. And I really don't want anybody to say anything. You guys already harp on the fact that, like, I put the horn horticulture, and I really don't. It's just a term, okay? I mean, I even had one of you guys, I don't think it was. It was Astrid. Astrid, you said it was my ugly mug that would have scared all the flowers off of your token, your Barassia token, but then you took it back, because I know, because you're a sweetheart, and you're beautiful, too. Love you. Ah, uh, what else is going on here? Oh. Oh, God, this is new. It's a, looks like a piece of grass, doesn't it? <laughs> it's not. It's actually a pregnant onion. I'm trying to grow pregnant onions from little tiny seeds. So I actually might do these as a giveaway someday because I don't know what the hell I'm going to do with a pregnant onion. I wouldn't know what to do with it. I might have to take care of the babies. Oh, boy. Ew. Anyway. Uh, other than that, I'm just watering my uh, my Vandas and stuff and just trying to get ready and, um, you know, pretty myself up. I brought all my bonsais in and whatnot, so they're in right now. I'll go over them as the over time, the winter time, because they're nice projects for the winter. Uh, I might even do some more giveaways as far as the bonsais are concerned to kind of consolidate and show you guys how to do it and maybe give you guys something to start off with. Um, other than that, I, don't, I think I've shown you everything else that's in bloom right now. I have a frag that's in spike, but I don't want to pick it up because it'll drip all over me, and I've already gotten wet. Um, but when that thing's in bloom, I will definitely show you. So you guys take it easy and have a great night and uh, keep growing things.